Last year in the fall, I came across a Kickstarter whose whole purpose was to recreate the smell of space. In an instant, I backed the Kickstarter and we even talked about it on our live show. At the time, I promised we'd open it and share the experience with you. Well, guess what? Here it is and we're gonna do it. Sure, you're thinking, how is this gonna actually smell like space? I mean, there is no air to smell smells in space. Yes, you are right. But the story goes that decades ago, astronauts on the International Space Station noticed the strange smell when they'd come back in from being out on spacewalks. So, NASA actually commissioned to have the smell of space created to help train astronauts before they launched into orbit. The idea here was that if they knew what to expect when they got into space, they wouldn't be surprised or freak out. And it kind of stayed a NASA secret, so to speak. Now enter the people who created this Kickstarter. These guys went and placed a Freedom of Information Act request to get as much information as they could about NASA's secret space mail efforts. With the FOIA request, they discovered a perfumer based in the UK that NASA used to create this unique smell. So after signing exclusive commercial contracts, dusting off the old formula, and agreeing to, as they put it, a very large minimum order, they had it, and so do we. And this smell has been verified by astronauts to be as close to the real thing as possible. So what does it smell like? It's been described as a rather pleasant metallic sensation, like sweet smelling welding fumes, burning metal, a distinct odor of ozone, an acrid smell, walnuts and brake pads, gunpowder, fruit, rum, and even burnt almond cookie. This Kickstarter was super successful and reached its funding on August 17th, 2020. They also had a stretch goal for an additional fragrance, the Eau de Luna, or the smell of the moon. We got that too. They say that the smell of the moon is more like spent gunpowder, so we'll smell that as well. Now, I haven't opened these boxes yet. You can see them both right here. My plan here is to get both guys over here, both John and Brandon. They have no idea what they're about to be smelling other than I've said, it's the smell of space, guys. So I want to get them both on camera here and have them smell it and describe it. So without further ado, let's get started. All right. Okay. I'm, um, I'm a little scared. Like I should maybe get clothing I don't care about before doing this. <laughs> do you, you don't care about that, do you? All right, cool. I, I have not done this. I have not smelled it. So I'm going to spray it up for both of us. Okay. And we're going to see. I'm, I'm, oh, gosh. You can already smell it? You did two on yours. Oh, whatever. It's here. Oh, you take that one. Ready? Smell. It smells like a cleaning agent. Are you sure this isn't what they clean the spaceship with? Not actually it smells like? Now I can't smell anything anymore. I've got a nose mine. It smells kind Wait, of like- you can smell, right? You smell this? <laughs> Hang on in a second. No, I could smell it. I could smell it. Okay. It almost smells like oranges a little bit. I think it smells like a bad Lysol knockoff. Hmm. Okay. Um, I don't smell burnt so metal or Which ozone. we thought is what it would smell like. Right. Yeah. How would you describe this? I, Lysol. It almost smells, it smells like, like Lysol. It almost smells like men's cologne a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. Like it, I think, I think you could wear this to work, and the ladies would just be like, "You smell like space." Oof, there is a after smell, almost like an aftertaste that hits you, and it it smells like kind of burnt garbagey. Do you don't smell that? That's a good selling point. <laughs> smells garbagey. It smells like burnt garbage. Number two. Number two. Number two. Let's let's smell the smell of the moon. Go ahead let and me, give let it. Let me prepare this for you. Okay. All right, here okay, we go. Ready? 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 Go. Oh. This smells like a ream of paper. For, oh no! With with something afterwards. Hold on. It goes away really fast. Michelle. No God, he's gonna do it. He's gonna put it on his body. I can't believe he's putting it on. That's enough. That's enough. Huh? Come here, come here, come No, 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 no. You live here. All right, all right, fine, fine. Hold on, I'm gonna take my watch off. You live off. in the studio. I'm gonna take my watch okay. off. I'm gonna take my watch off. Okay, left or right arm? Which one do you think? Okay, all right, enough, enough. Melted plastic, with a hint of uh, cinnamony, cinnamony. No. Cinnamon, cinnamon. Actually, that has like a, towards the end. I, the weird. It's like an aftertaste of decent smelling cologne. Uh, yeah, I think at that's the very end. It's like you smell the awful. Okay. And it kind of like waves in. All right, now we're gonna go back. We're gonna go back to this. Okay. So, here we go. Okay. Do it. Do it. I like how I have to hold my hand. Like. Well, I didn't wanna. All right. I'll. Oh. I'll... That's oh. Ah. Oh. There we go. Here that, we go. That's a, okay. I, a I, cleaning I can agent. It. it is a cleaning agent. <sighs> We've been sold Lysol. <sighs> Space or space stinks. Yeah, <laughs> I think this is what okay. they clean the ships with. Okay, Brandon, you you saw John's reaction to it. Now I'm gonna spray. I guess I'm gonna spray you. Okay. Okay. Let's pick, do it. Pick an arm. 
Which arm's uh, which? Let's do uh, my my right here. Okay. And uh, we'll do space on that one. All right. So, so let let the record show that Brandon's right arm is the space arm. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Oh. No. Uh, I definitely pick up the cleaner agent for sure. Oh, it's so bad! It's, it like burns the inside of your nostrils. Um, what's it supposed to smell like? They said it had the faint smell of like sweet welding fumes or burnt metal. I don't know how you burn metal, but that's beside the point. Um, it's a weird Rum adverb. and <laughs> ozone and. Um, Wait, rum? Rum, I don't smell it. Oh, I do kind of smell like burnt nuts. What are the astronauts up to if it's rum? I don't know. I, I don't know. <laughs> guys sneak it on the ship. Okay. But not not a good smell. Not a smell I'd, I'd want to be. Let's do All right, this the Eudelunar. This, this is the smell of the moon. Moon, okay. Okay, moon, moon, moon is going on your left arm. All right, ready? I'll put it on my... Definitely get the like smoky like gunpowder. Yeah, you, you know, about actually earlier. I do smell, I, now that you mention it, I do kind of smell um, a campfire, but a really bad campfire where they're burning like yeah, tires like not, or trash bags. Not good. <laughs> um, it's definitely more pleasant than the space one. Oh uh, my God. More, more wearable, but. Would you wear it to work? And okay, let me take it back. Which one would you wear to work? Let's say you have to choose one. Which one are you going to wear to work? It's definitely moon. Okay. I'm 100% choosing moon. I'm like taking half or a quarter spritz uh, you, you, you shoot it in the air and then walk through it. Yeah, because like it's <laughs> it's a little overpowering to like feel the smoke it just, heavy on. No, no, switch back and forth. Switch back yeah. and forth. Okay. Oh. Yeah, if that's if that's what Neil Armstrong uh, felt, I, I feel sorry for him when he stepped on the moon and got both of those. Yeah. I wanted to add a few things here before we end this. The people doing this Kickstarter aren't just making a quick buck, though I'm sure they've made plenty of bucks off of it. They also have a STEM initiative where they're donating one bottle for every bottle purchased on the Kickstarter to a science classroom or STEM program in need. And I think this is just phenomenal and thought it was a really nice thing to do since NASA is all about exploration for mankind and this derivative from it is being shared with future generations of explorers as well. I know that I will never get to go to space in my lifetime, but this has been a pretty cool way to experience a little of that here on Earth. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is going to do it for this video today. I genuinely hope you enjoyed watching as much as I enjoyed making it. would love to know what you think of the U to Space, the U to Luna, or this video. Get down in those comments and let me know. I also put a link to the Kickstarter down here so you can go check it out, and a link to the STEM program if you want to go ahead and request a bottle for your school, your STEM initiative. That would be awesome. If this is the first time you've seen us, please consider subscribing because it really helps us out and keeps us making these videos. We've got a website. Right here we put the testing results from other videos, not this one, there's no testing in this video. We're on Instagram and Twitter, right here. Go there and follow the channel. And last but not least, we have a Discord right here. Consider joining our Discord, hang out with us, talk to us. It's a good time and a great community. Thank you for watching and we'll see you again soon.